It's a single image that has sparked a firestorm of controversy and fascination for generations. The Shroud of Turin more than just a historical artifact, it's a profound enigma that science still can't solve, a silent witness that challenges the very boundary between faith and empirical fact. The Shroud of Turin is said to be the very cloth that wrapped Jesus after his crucifixion, bearing what many believe is his miraculous, haunting image. For centuries, its authenticity has been a battleground of fierce debate, pitting theologians against scientists and believers against skeptics. Now, this ancient relic is making headlines once again, and in a way that is forcing everyone to look closer. Think back over 2,000 years to the birth of a man named Jesus Christ, a figure whose influence would echo through all of human history. He preached a radical message of love and redemption in the Roman province of Judea, making the audacious, world-altering claim that he was the Son of God a claim that ultimately led him to the brutal death of the cross. But the story doesn't end there. According to Christian faith, after two days in a cold, stone tomb, Jesus conquered death itself. This resurrection is the bedrock of Christianity, the singular moment that redefined everything and inextricably linked to this event is one of the most debated and mysterious objects on earth, the Shroud of Turin. Could this be the physical proof of Christ's resurrection? For years, carbon dating tests pointed to it being a clever medieval fake, a masterwork of artistic deception. But that conclusion didn't stop the relentless study and re-examination. Despite the powerful wave of skepticism, new findings continue to surface almost as if some unseen force is determined to keep the shroud in the public eye. Some are convinced it holds the very imprint of the resurrection, a literal snapshot of a miracle. And now, a breathtaking new discovery has thrown gasoline on the fire. Researchers believe they've found a name written on the cloth, a detail. Some are calling the final, undeniable proof of its origin. But before we get to that, let's rewind. The Gospel of John speaks of burial cloths found in Jesus' empty tomb, a discovery that solidified John's belief in the impossible. Could the Shroud of Turin be one of those very cloths, surviving to millennia of war, fire, and secrecy? The question has haunted historians for centuries, yet it remains unanswered, shrouded in doubt and the mists of time. Then, a scientific bombshell nearly ended the debate for good, carbon dating. In 1988, three elite, world-renowned laboratories analyzed a sample of the linen. Their verdict was unanimous and shocking. The shroud was created between 1260 and 1390 AD, placing it firmly in the Middle Ages. The case seemed closed. The mystery solved, but it wasn't. Almost instantly, doubts crept in, voiced by textile experts and historians. Was the tested sample from a patch that had been expertly rewoven to repair the cloth after a devastating fire could newer threads, centuries younger than the original linen, have contaminated the results and thrown everything off? The questions were too significant to ignore. Dot. As time went on, more sophisticated studies began to paint a different, more complex picture, suggesting the shroud could be much, much older perhaps even from the first century. And that's when the story took a turn no one saw coming, with the arrival of artificial intelligence. Today, powerful AI is scrutinizing the shroud with unprecedented precision, analyzing every fiber, every shadow, every microscopic bloodstain. And its findings are nothing short of mind-bending. They're being called otherworldly. From hyper-realistic facial reconstructions that feel startlingly alive, to simulations of energy bursts that defy the known laws of physics, AI is challenging our understanding of science, history, and the very concept of resurrection. This is more than just a clash between faith and science. It's about an artifact that defies easy answers in an age that demands them. How can it possess the properties of a photographic negative, a perfect three-dimensional map of a human body, centuries before cameras were invented? Why has no artist, past or present, using any known technique, ever been able to replicate its subtle, ethereal qualities? And how, after countless studies, do we still not know how this image was formed, as we stand at the crossroads of advanced technology and ancient faith? One question echoes louder than ever. What truly happened inside the tomb 2,000 years ago? Stay with me, because we're about to unravel the entire story. How did this simple cloth become the most scrutinized artifact? In Christian history, why does every scientific test only deepen the mystery? And can AI, our most powerful tool, finally reveal its secrets? Or is this an enigma we were never meant to solve? This is the story of the Shroud of Turin, a mystery that won't die a question that won't fade, and a relic that could forever alter. Our perception of faith, science, and the past, the shroud didn't appear in a flash of divine light. It slipped into history quietly, wrapped in an aura of profound mystery.
Its first documented appearance was in the 14th century in the small, French town of Lyrie, a knight named Geoffrey de Charny made a bold claim, he owned the burial cloth of Jesus Christ, but its origins were a complete blank. There was no royal seal, no official church documentation, no unbroken chain of custody, only the knight's word and a linen cloth bearing an image that seemed to defy all logic. The church proceeded with caution, neither endorsing nor condemning the relic. For centuries, it existed in a state of limbo, an object of veneration for some and dismissal for others. Pilgrims traveled to see it, scholars to analyze it, but its true story remained tantalizingly out of reach. Then in 1898, the game changed forever. An Italian lawyer and amateur photographer, Sicondo Pia, was granted permission to photograph the shroud during a public exhibition. That night, as he developed the photographic plates in his darkroom, he saw something that made him freeze. The faint, ghostly image of the man on the cloth was suddenly rendered in stunning, lifelike detail. The negative image on his plate was clearer, more profound, and more detailed than the original. The ethereal markings sharpened into a face, and a body, a haunting portrait of agony and peace. The news exploded. The press called it a modern miracle. Scientists were baffled. For the first time, the shroud was more than a relic. It was a scientific puzzle, an image that behaved like a photographic negative, created centuries before the invention of photography, and that was only the beginning. In the decades that followed, researchers pored over every millimeter of the cloth and their findings were staggering. There was no paint, no pigment, no trace of an artist's brush. The image wasn't drawn or stained. It rested impossibly on the very surface of the fibers, a discoloration only microns thick. Then under the microscope, another surprise, pollen grains from plants native not to Europe, but to the Middle East specifically, from the region around. Jerusalem, including some species that only bloom in the spring, the plot thickened. Analysis of the reddish stains confirmed they were real human blood, type of, which is rare, but the placement wasn't random. The blood patterns corresponded perfectly with the crucifixion accounts in the Gospels, wounds on the wrists and feet, a gash in the side, and markings around the scalp consistent with a crown of thorns. For believers, this was a refutable proof. For skeptics, it was deeply puzzling. How could a medieval forger have known details that were anatomically correct but contradicted the art of the period, like nails through the wrists instead of the palms? How could the depiction be so medically precise, far exceeding the knowledge of the time? Then came the moment that threatened to demolish centuries of faith. In 1988, three of the world's top laboratories at Oxford, Zurich, and Arizona used radiocarbon dating to determine the shroud's age. The results were seemingly conclusive. The linen was from between 1260 and 1390 AD. For many, the case was closed. It was a medieval masterpiece of forgery. Headlines screamed, Shroud is a fake. The world moved on. Believers were crushed. But the Shroud story was far from over. Almost immediately, experts raised flags. Textile specialists noted that the corner sample used for the test was different from the main cloth. It contained cotton fibers, likely from a patch used to repair the shroud after a fire in 1532. If the sample was contaminated, the dating was worthless. Just like that, the debate was back on. New studies suggested the original linen could indeed be much older. The mystery was alive and well dot with the dawn of the 21st century came a new arsenal of technology, scanning electron microscopes, advanced imaging, and deep chemical analysis. Yet each new test, instead of providing answers, only created more questions. Through it all, the shroud survived fires, wars, and waves of scientific scrutiny. It remained its silent, haunting face staring back at humanity. But the greatest plot twist was yet to come, a chapter that would push the shroud into a realm no one could have predicted, the world of artificial intelligence. And what AI would find would leave the world speechless. For centuries, the Shroud of Turin had defied every attempt at explanation. But no one could have foreseen that its next great challenge would come not from the fields of archaeology or theology, but from the digital world of artificial intelligence. It began as a simple experiment. High-resolution scans of the Shroud were fed into an AI image generator. The prompt was straightforward. Reconstruct the face of the man on the cloth. No religious bias, no pre-programmed miracles, just data. The result was breathtaking. As the AI sifted through millions of data points the play of light on the fibers, the subtle topography of the weave of face began to materialize. This was not the sanitized, ethereal Jesus of Renaissance art. This was a face that was raw, rugged, and profoundly human. A Middle Eastern man with olive skin, a tangled beard, and eyes that held both the weight of immense suffering and an unshakable peace. There were no halos, no divine light, just the bruised and broken face of a man who had endured the unimaginable. 
The revelation sent shockwaves. Anthropologists noted the uncanny resemblance between the AI-generated face and forensic reconstructions of first-century Jewish men. The bone structure, the facial proportions, it was a near-perfect match, even. The wounds aligned with historical accounts of Roman crucifixion. The internet erupted, hashtag AI Jesus and hashtag Shroud decoded trended globally. Was it a digital miracle or a high-tech parlor trick? Skeptics warned that AI is trained on existing data, including centuries of religious art. But here's the catch. The AI didn't invent this face from its training data. It extrapolated it directly from the information encoded on the shroud itself. Every stain, every fiber, every shadow guided the final image. This wasn't an artist's interpretation. It was a data-driven reconstruction. And it revealed something no one was prepared for. As researchers pushed further, feeding the AI prompts about the bloodstains and the strange photographic negative properties. Something even more astonishing emerged. The AI generated a simulation of how the image might have formed. It depicted a body floating just above the cloth, bathed in a soft, radiant glow. The AI wasn't told to create a resurrection, it was simply trying to model a scenario where the image was created not by contact, but by a burst of energy. The simulation showed light emanating from the very points where blood had stained the linen, the figure appearing weightless, as if the cloth had captured a moment of transformation, not decay. These images went viral, sparking fierce debate. Did AI just picture the resurrection? Some headlines asked. Critics dismissed it as a digital illusion, reminding everyone that AI doesn't have faith. It runs on algorithms, and they have a point. But if the AI was simply reflecting its biased training data, why didn't it produce the familiar, Europeanized Jesus from classic art? Why did the face look so historically and forensically accurate? Was it all just a massive coincidence, or does the shroud contain a truth deeper than we ever imagined? For believers, it felt like a validation, a whisper from the past amplified by the technology of the future. For skeptics, it was another layer in an already impenetrable mystery. And so, the enigma deepens if our most powerful analytical tool can't explain the shroud and in fact only makes it more mysterious. What does that tell us? One researcher summed it up perfectly, if this is a forgery, it's the most brilliant one in history, and we still have no idea how they did it. After all the computations and simulations, the shroud remains a paradox. A relic that offers no easy answers, but refuses to be ignored. And beneath it all, a haunting question persists. What if this is the actual face of the man who changed the world? Because if it is, this isn't just a piece of cloth. It's a snapshot of eternity. What happens when our most advanced science collides with something that seems to defy all explanation? For centuries, the Shroud of Torin has occupied that strange, contested space between faith and skepticism. Now, with AI entering the fray, the debate has taken on a new urgency. And one question looms larger than ever. Is this cloth proof of the resurrection? It's a theory that refuses to die. For years, scientists have explored the radiation burst. Hypothesis, the idea is that the image wasn't made by paint or heat, but was seared onto the cloth by an intense, momentary burst of energy a flash so powerful it encoded 3D information onto the linen without scorching it. One study calculated that such an event would require billions of watts of ultraviolet light released in a nanosecond. That's not something a medieval forger could have cooked up. In fact, it's beyond anything we can create today. It sounds less like science and more like the biblical accounts of a glorious, transformative resurrection. Of course, skeptics call this pseudoscience, theology dressed up in a lab coat. And perhaps they're right, but they have a problem. No one, using any known technique, has ever successfully replicated the image on the shroud. Not in the 14th century, and not today. At this point, the mystery transcends science and history. It touches something deeply human, because while AI can render a face, it can't explain the most important thing. Why does this image still have the power to move us? In a world obsessed with data and proof, why is an ancient cloth trending on social media and sparking global debate? The answer is that we're not just looking for facts. We're searching for hope. The shroud speaks to something primal within us. It's more than a forensic puzzle. It's a symbol of suffering and the hint of something beyond our mortal existence. In that ghostly outline, in those blood-streaked features and pierced wrists, millions see more than an image. They see a story, one that speaks to pain, sacrifice, and the possibility of something greater. And now, AI has made that story feel immediate and intensely personal for a new generation. Imagine it, a digital Linen exhibition cloth. of the shroud in the near future. Visitors the file past a high-resolution display, the mystery hanging silently in the air. On their phones, they see the AI reconstructions the bruised but peaceful face, the strange glow suggesting the image was born of light, not death. Some are skeptical, others stand silently, moved to tears. 
Because the shroud doesn't offer certainty. It offers something else, a choice, the choice to believe or not to believe. And maybe that's the ultimate point. Maybe the mystery isn't woven into the linen, but into our own hearts. It's about our hunger for meaning in an age of information overload. Our quiet hope for something that can conquer despair. AI didn't solve the mystery. It amplified it. It made the shroud more haunting, more real, and more relevant than ever. For believers, it's a bridge between faith and science. For skeptics, it's the ultimate unsolved case. And for everyone, it's a question that grows louder every day. What if this isn't an image of death, but a window into eternity? After centuries of intense scrutiny, the Shroud of Torin remains an enigma, a mystery that only deepens with each. New discovery, carbon dating placed it in the Middle Ages, but modern imaging suggests it could be much older. Blood analysis confirms it held a wounded man, yet the image itself is impossible to replicate. Now AI has entered the conversation, not to give us the final answer, but to blow the case wide open again by revealing a face that is hauntingly realistic and historically accurate. Was it a fluke of the algorithm or a glimpse of the truth? The reality is this. Science can analyze fibers and bloodstains, but it cannot measure meaning. Why does this ancient cloth still capture the imagination of a modern world? Why do millions stop and listen when technology tries to decode something that's remained silent for millennia? Perhaps because this story isn't ultimately about linen. It's about the possibility of something more. If the shroud is authentic, it captured a moment that altered the course of history the instant that life conquered death. And even if it's not, its power as a symbol of hope is undeniable. So, where do we go from here? We are left with a question that no computer can ever answer for us. What if the resurrection was real? If that question makes you uncomfortable, maybe it's supposed to. Because if this cloth witnessed the impossible, then everything we think we know changes. I'll leave you with this final thought. The shroud may never offer us the absolute proof we crave. But maybe proof was never the point. Maybe its true purpose is to inspire us to wonder, to question, and ultimately, to hope. Now, I want to hear from you. What is your take? Is the shroud a masterful forgery or the single most important artifact in existence? Did AI get us closer to the truth or just show us how deep the mystery really goes? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'll be reading every single one because whether you're a believer or a skeptic, one thing is certain, the Shroud of Torin refuses to be forgotten.